in 1982, our next inventor, Michael Aldrich, a Sussex businessman, used the TV as the basis of our next invention, online shopping. Michael Aldrich ran a computer company and was excited about interactive possibilities of this new technology on his home TV. In the early 80s, you'd watch Morecambe and Wise or The Two Ronnies. The central focal point of the house was the television. So you can understand why my dad saw the television as being the main portal for interaction between consumer and businesses. One day, he's walking the dog with my mum, and my mum's complaining about the weekly shop. And so my dad, who is a great sort of problem solver, uh, starts saying, well, wouldn't it just be easier if you could just order it from home? Um, and he sort of put his thinking cap on. One of the businesses that we had was in rental televisions. Uh, and he thought, how can we get television to order us our weekly shopping? About six months later, they'd come up with an online shopping solution. The first ever recognised user was a lady called Mrs Jane Snowball. Mrs Snowball was a pensioner who couldn't get out to the shops. Aldrich connected her television to the local Tesco via the telephone line. She could use her remote control to order the weekly shop. This 72-year-old grandmother was an unlikely pioneer of online shopping, five years before the internet was even invented. Michael Aldrich was thinking about what could be different about the way that we use the television. That was the device at the time that we all sat and looked at, and he recognised that there was a fundamental shift going on. So it's not just a matter of changing the channel. I can place an order with a company. He picked the television almost as a metaphor, I think, for the window into interaction, the window into choice. The idea of Mrs Snowball getting her groceries through her television um, didn't quite take off, did it? Although they could um, prove that it, it worked, you know, there were limitations to it, but they did it really as experiments. Um, to see how it could enable elderly people to shop from home. Michael, like many visionaries, was looking at something to come and playing with what there was in the world at the time. He recognised what we would all be doing in the future, but it was more like a proof of concept. It was an idea that he worked out beyond an idea. He worked out how to actually do it, but the world wasn't ready for that equipment at that point. It's quite incredible because he had such a far-sighted vision. But we're talking about over 30 years ago. Yeah. Um, we had one in our house in Dad's study, and it had a big red button, like the nuclear button. And he pressed that button, and then it started dialing, making the old modem noises, and the, the number came, you know, sort of came up on the screen. Uh, and you watch this great fascination. I was only about 12. It was really whizzy. It had that wow factor. One of the things that Michael Aldrich understood very early on was that users being able to choose what they looked at rather than just waiting for something to come up on screen was very empowering. 